joining in with my awesome friend, Life with Patty, for Tea Tuesday today. She's an awesome, awesome friend. Please go over and check her out. She always does such a wonderful job with everything she does and a very good supporter of her friends. Also, Tea Tuesday is an open collab. Anyone can join in anytime they want. On Tuesday, think about joining in. It's an easy post you can put up and then share anything you want. This is the co-hostess for Tea Tuesday and it is Kathy's Favorite Things, another great channel full of lots of inspiration. Hope you go check her out and see all the different things she shares with you. She comes up with some great projects and some great shares. Thank you all for all your love and support. Please go check out these two awesome channels. Now let's go see what Grandma did today. I saw this chair a couple of months ago sitting on the curb. Somebody was just throwing it out. If somebody wanted it, they could take it. You could tell it was pretty beaten up. But you know something? I saw what I wanted to do with it right off the bat. I have a beautiful container of some beautiful flowers that bloom every year. And I knew that it would set so beautifully next to it. What do you think? I thought it's a perfect place to put it. I know my husband thought I was crazy bringing home a chair that looked like this. But I said I knew where it was going to go. I just had to wait for my flowers to bloom. Today I'm sharing my first attempt at trying to get a cottage garden going in my garden. We're going to work on it for the next four or five years and see if we can add a little bit more each year. But we're not going to be spending a lot of money. The total cost of this cottage display I put together today was about $15 and it was just for the plants in this container, even the container I had given to me last year. And so everything I've had for quite a while or have already shared. This is a container from last year and the bulbs are coming back and we'll get to see them pretty soon. This particular plant here I bought last year also and it is now getting new growth. I just put it in a new larger container and it's so much happier. I brought these flowers from the house so there was no cost for them. And the quilt is from the house. And of course, my little characters from Alice in Wonderland are not new either. So they are coming out for their Alice in Wonderland to say hi to you. Cause they always like cottage gardens also. And to make the chair look beautiful once again, I may even try to buy one of these wicker chairs in the future. I'm really happy with it. But for this year, this is what we're gonna be using. I found this at the side of the street, uh, I don't know, maybe like three or four months ago. And I knew when I saw it that I was gonna make a display like this when my beautiful flowers came to bloom. So it worked out perfectly. I'm sure my husband thought I was crazy bringing this chair home, but I didn't care, did I? Because I still brought it home. But I wanna share with you all the beautiful plants that I have surrounding it. These I've had about four or five years. Uh, they're in this container. They love it and they've done very well. So they're going to stay right where they're at. They're not moving. This container is quite large, quite heavy, and I don't want to take a chance of moving it at all and maybe injuring my babies. I just love them. Each year they get bigger, more beautiful and more full one of my favorite plants in my garden. The daylilies are probably about four or five years they've been in here. They don't do as well as they could do if I put them in more sun, but I'm leaving it alone. I like where it is and it really makes me happy. The basket was my husband's idea for my air plants and it's working out great. I'm really happy with this idea. And I have some more baskets and I have some more air plants I'm going to put out here also. 
So I put a little bit of water on my air plant. The water trickles down into the flowers below it. So it's working out and doing double duty. These uh, I did a couple of years ago and they've been out in the garden the whole time and I have some more wheels and I think I'm going to buy some more ribbon and hang them up out here. I think it looks very whimsical and beautiful in my garden. Let me know what you think. Very simple little project. I bought these at Dollar Tree and I think I have another four or five of them to do in the garden. Just gotta buy some ribbon and get them hung up. We'll see if I get it done this year or next year. One more quick look around the area. This is one of my new areas, like I said. I'm just gonna do a little tiny piece of my garden every month. Eventually, hopefully, by the time we get through this calendar year, we'll have everything looking really nice. Now, of course, once these flowers stop blooming, it may be an issue with the chair. I may move the chair to another position in my garden that's blooming, but this chair will stay here as long as these ones are blooming. I have some more going to be blooming probably another month or so, and when they start blooming, I may very well move the chair. So you're going to see a lot of my stuff moved around, my plants moved around, but we can keep sharing lots of different displays you can put together with what you already own and have. Thank you all so much for coming by. Thank you for all your love and support as always. And you guys mean the world to me and all of your sweet comments you leave all the time. Hugs and kisses from Grandma Sandy and Debbie. And all of my Alice in Wonderland friends say bye bye. Bye boy, boy boy, boy boy. Oh, oh my gosh, they're all so happy that you came by and they're all waving bye bye to you. See you in the next video. Thank you.